Hey there, welcome to Fluency Goals. I am Mandeep and today in this lesson, we are going to learn where to use, when to use and how to use simple past tense. Simple past tense is the most basic form of the past tense. As you are already aware that tenses can be categorized mainly into three categories, present tense, past tense and future tense. Here in this series, first we are covering simple tenses. In the last lesson, we learned about simple present tense and in today's lesson, we are going to learn about simple past tense. So let's begin, shall we? Before we delve into the rules of forming simple past tense, let's learn about the use of simple past tense and then we'll learn how to form the Simple past tense in the assertive form, in the negative form and the interrogative form. Simple past tense is also known as past indefinite tense. It is used mainly to express actions or events that occurred and were completed in the past. The past can be recent past, something that happened just a minute before or it can be a distant past something that happened years ago. The main thing is the events that happened, the actions that were completed in the past and have no connection to the present. Number one, it is used to express completed actions. So actions that happened at a specific point in the past and are now completed, finished and they have no connection to the present. For example, she finished her homework last night. So this action was completed in the past and it has no continuance in the present. Simple past tense can also be used to express sequential actions. Sequential actions are those actions that happen in a sequence. When you are narrating a series of events in, a, in the past, say a story or an experience, Simple past tense is used to indicate the order of actions. Take for example, he woke up, brushed his teeth and went to work. So here we are narrating a sequence of events that occurred and we are using simple past tense to narrate those events. Simple past tense can also be used to refer to the habits or routines in the past. So simple present tense for habits, routines of present. Simple past tense to refer to the habits or routines in the past. But it is important to note that these, these habits or repeated actions, they occurred in the past, but no longer occur in the present. So they have no connection to the present, but these events or habits they occurred repeatedly in the past. Take for example, she always walked to school when she was a child. Here it is a repeated action and a habit that occurred in the past, but it has no connection to the present. Simple past tense can also be used to state past facts. So the facts that were true in the past. Example, India got its freedom in 1947. So this is a fact that happened in the past. The Roman Empire fell in 476 AD. So it is a past fact. Simple past tense can also be used to state actions that happened in the past at a specific time. Say she arrived at the airport at 7 p.m. yesterday. So this action occurred in the past at the specific time. Remember, it is specific time mentioned, not the time, period or duration. So that was about the usage of simple past tense. Now let's learn the formation of simple past tense. The simple past assertive sentence is formed by using subject, I, he, she, you, they, plus second form of the verb, that is past form of the verb, plus object if required. Let's take example for forming simple past tense using first, second, third subject, singular and plural. I played football. We played football. 
Notice here that we are using second form of play. Play, played. So played is the second form of the verb play. You played football. You played football. He played football. They played football. So there is no confusion here. We simply have to use the past tense form verb second form for all the subjects, whether it's a singular subject, plural subject, first person subject, second person subject or third person subject. So it's, it's very simple to form. Let's take one more example. I liked the cake. We liked the cake. You liked the cake. You liked the cake. He, she, it or any name liked the cake. They liked the cake. So for every subject, we are simply using the second form of the verb. Now let's learn how to form simple past tense in, its, in the negative form. Now here it's a bit tricky. We use subject plus did not plus root verb. That is the first form of the verb to form simple past tense in negative. I did not play football. He did not play football. You did not play football. I did not like the cake. You did not like the cake. He did not like the cake. So notice when we are using did, it in itself means that it is the past form. Whenever we are using did, remember to always use first form of the verb along with did. Many people commit this mistake of using second form of verb along with did. So if we say, I did not like the cake, it will be incorrect. So you will use first form of the verb wherever there is did in the sentence, whether it's in the interrogative form or it is in the negative form, right? Okay. Now let's take a look at the interrogative simple past form. So we simply use did plus subject plus root verb form that is first form of the verb to form simple past interrogative. Did I play football? Did you play football? Did he play football? So it's very simple. Just use did followed by subject and then the first form of the verb. So here we have learned that the second form of the verb is used always to form simple past tense in assertive form. In other forms, whether it's negative or it's an interrogative form, we always use did. Now for some regular verbs, you just need to add ed or d to them in order to form their second form. Like play, played, work, worked, like, like, force, forced, announce, announced. Notice in these verbs, these are regular verbs because their past forms are simply formed by adding ed or d to them. Some irregular verbs, they completely change their form to make their past form or they do not change their form at all. Let's first take a look at the verbs that do not change their form at all even in the past form. Put, put. Hit, hit, cut, cut, hurt, hurt, set, set. So these are the irregular verbs that do not change their form in the past form. Now let's take a look at the, some irregular verbs that completely change their form for forming second form of the verb or the past form of the verb. Go, went, see, saw, fly, flew, drink, drank. Do, did, think, thought, sell, sold, buy, bought, build, built. So these are just a few irregular verbs. So you have to memorize, memorize the irregular verbs or the regular verbs. They're all the three forms so well that even if you're sleeping and somebody asks you what is the second form or third form of this verb, you are quickly able to utter that. So in order to use the tense forms effortlessly, you must know all the verb forms of a word. So that was all about the simple past tense. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and you like this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you are new here. It's a great support. 
so i'll see you next week with another lesson thank you so much happy learning